In this problem, we're going to look at an example that is a bit more interesting than, than the one that we just did. Here I have a two-bar truss. One bar is steel, the other one is aluminum, and it's subjected to a vertical load P at one of the nodes. And I'd like to find the relationship between applied load and the motion, the downward motion at that node. And we'll go ahead and use conservation of energy to solve this problem. So the, the work in is one half P delta because I have an elastic system. And the work stored is the energy that's stored in the two truss bars. Each truss bar is subjected only to loads at its end, so I can use the result from my previous example that said the work stored in the bar is going to be one half the force in the bar squared times its length divided by the AE for the bar. So in this particular case here, I have the steel bar. There's the force in the steel bar, I'll call that PST. Its length is L, and it has its own cross-sectional area and modulus, so I'll just say AEST. The aluminum bar has its own, own force, PL, and its length is root 2L, and it has its own modulus and cross-sectional area, so I'll call that AEL. But the sum of the work stored in the two bars has to equal the work in in the system. Now, if I draw a free body diagram of the node where the load is applied, I have the vertical load P, I have the horizontal load ST, and I have the load PAL at 45 degrees. So now I can sum the forces in the vertical and horizontal directions. That tells me that PAL is root 2P and that PST is equal to P. So I can plug that back into my relationship over here for conservation of energy. And I now have on the right hand side for the steel term, I the PST just becomes P, so I get P squared. And PAL is root 2P, so I'm going to pick up a P squared times 2 in the numerator. I can now go ahead and cancel the one halves on both sides, and I can cancel a P from both sides. And I then have my final relationship that the motion delta is equal to P times this combination of terms here. So this is a nice example of using conservation of energy to extract out one bit of information about a system.